So it's honestly just about as much for meat as anything. I've heard Axis deer are just phenomenal eating. And wild pork, in my opinion, can't really be beat. Um, and I actually like goat meat too, so. If I see a doe or something, if I get any opportunities, I'm probably gonna take them. I've got a few arrows, and it's just kind of a mixed bag. And maybe even head down, do some spear fishing later. But it's just an awesome opportunity to have Hopefully I can spot some deer. I've actually never even seen them in the wild. I'm back! I'm up here, boy. Welcome to the wall door. I've got two minutes left on this camera. Forgot all my memory cards. I'm gonna have to make it quick. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom. Look at that guy. I'll tell you this right now. I always done a big buck like that to these damn cameras. Patience is definitely a virtue that I have. More like this. That's a bad day right there. Hungry eat, thirsty drink. Cold, make fire. these thermals change I think it's certain when it's gonna start going up the hill it's gonna get tough so I'm gonna act fast just to spot and strike and it just never had that happen. Just a rock came loose and I went the wrong way. Camera and bow and all off kilter. But tightened it down and just gonna live with it. sign up here in beds and tracks and trails but so far the deer have slipped into the abyss that's the hardest part about hunting by yourself is nobody can keep an eye on the animals so by the time I drop down get around here you know they could have walked up walked down walked over they could be anywhere now the winds starting to swirl and not knowing where they are it's just a matter of luck now but I'm just gonna keep moving up peeking over 
real slow looking glassing. The best case scenario would be to catch him down on the other side of one of these little draws. I'm just gonna keep working up. We designed the Solo Hunter Bino Harness to be ultra functional in the field, particularly for bow hunters. It needed to be low profile, compact, super quiet but durable, and have one handed operation. I think for the most part, we nailed it. I'm gonna make a move. And then every time I peek up, I'm just gonna crawl up to the rib, ridge, look over, and then keep a bush behind me so I'm not skylined. Best case scenario, I just catch him blowing me up. There's a buck right there. It's a nice long buck. Come to figure out that <clears throat> these deer, they don't stay still very long. It's gonna be tough to get one in the camera. I, I was walking over here for a little bit bigger buck. It was just on the other side of this big tree. And I got right to that spot, but that deer was already gone. It would have been perfect. And then I start moving over one more ridge and I see some deer standing right up here. I was afraid the wind was going to start coming up and I didn't know how far they were so I was probably within range but it just wasn't a good setup for the camera so I figured I'd move up and as I moved up they had already moved off and crossed the canyon about a hundred yards away it's going to be tough that was a really good opportunity there I have a feeling if I was just bow hunting I would have got a shot because I would have been able to it set up down here for a shot but it just wasn't my tripod wasn't set up right for it so I decided to come around and try to get a better spot while I have more time with the tripod and by then Keeping your rifle protected, clean, and dry while hunting is a big priority, but so is having the ability to get at it quickly when you need it. That's where the rifle cover comes into play. I have this thing on my rifle all the time. Until it's time to pull the trigger, this rifle cover is on my rifle.
see just from glass and right here goats walking all over there wild goats it's pretty awesome tough country man I'm gonna be real with you right now. There's nothing quiet about stalking around in this volcano rock with a tripod that's made of metal. I think that's gonna be my ultimate frustration this week. Just noisy for bow hunting. These deer are keyed in.
For information on Solo Hunter rifle covers or our Bino harness system, or to find us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, connect with us on our website at solohunter.com. That was a seriously intense stalk. He was bedded right by this tree here. I crept to the tree where they were bedded and used the hill as cover. I set my camera up. I don't know five feet behind me. I can't believe I just was able to slightly capture that on film. It's not the cleanest video in the world, but it's a free range, 100% wild axis deer. Spot and stock with a bow in this lava. I mean, just getting the camera set up and positioned without it making enough noise to scare him for miles. It's crazy. gonna give him a little while because the last thing I want is maybe if he's only hit one lung or whatever I don't want him running off. Just, I've got time. And I know right where he went over so I'll hopefully be able to pick up blood. Crazy. So, so pumped. Felt good. I think I've given it enough time. I'm just gonna start working down looking for blood. I saw exactly where he went over. I saw exactly where I hit him. I'm hoping he's down there, man. I mean, not. ocean in the background. Giant mountains behind me. It's just a crazy picturesque place. That's the thing about bow hunting. It's not over till you find him. You can't celebrate until you've got him in your hands. There's a lot of work sometimes to track. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Sweet. And he's hit. It's only about 35 yards from where I shot him. Oh, I'm stoked. I gotta get the camera going. Sick. Oh, this thing's awesome. That's a good buck. That is a crazy animal. So cool. Holy cow. I don't think you could ask for a prettier animal. Just the way this hide is, the spots on it, and the horn configuration. They are a lot bigger body than I was expecting, to be honest. I mean, I've never actually seen one on the ground. That thing is sweet. Velvet, but he's pretty hard horned. Probably would have started scraping here pretty soon. So, uh, wow, it's a nice buck too. I just got an awesome opportunity. I can't. I'm so thankful for this. And I've heard these are some of the best eating deer, which to me is the price of admission. I mean, this is an awesome rack, awesome trophy, but. The meat's just as important. It's really cool. Wow. So cool. I'm gonna get him cooling down, aired out, get some pictures. Okay, and I can hang the meat in this tree here. When I go back for my pack. Should be good. I got it. I mean, I got a buck, and that's it's more than I ever could ask for. It's just an awesome adventure here. Such a cool place, such a unique place. I could just go on and on about it, but I'm just thankful. It's cool. Very cool.